Okay, guys. Um, this is actually a plate that came with it, and I peeled off the surface, and then uh, I went ahead and I glued that to my bed. Uh, not only that, um, my bed is not leveled, and uh, I had to use um, aluminum tape um, on places where uh, the bed was kind of low uh, to make it even. Now, it is flat, but when, when I start printing, this thing heats up, and the glue separates, and this thing lifts up from the middle and then it becomes uneven and I'm not able to print uh, with this and that is the reason I had to buy this um, Creality gloss bed so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove this surface I'm gonna have to peel it off I'm gonna remove all the clips And then I will have to kind of like gently take this right off. Okay guys, here it is. This is the plate that it came with. And it had um, Ender 3 logo here and I took that off. And I include that directly to my built plate uh, to make it even and I, I had to use this aluminum tape but I guess I don't need that anymore so I'll just take this right off okay guys I went ahead and I removed all the aluminum tape now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean the surface with this disinfecting wipe or alcohol wipe anything will work I'm gonna go ahead and clean the surface to make sure that there's no residue left from that glue I'm gonna give it a good wipe here it is guys here's a mirror and uh, it comes in very nice packaging as you can tell here and it looks super nice so. Here it is guys, looks super nice and it fits just about right and it's perfect, it looks super clean and super good. I'm very happy with this, take this off, here we go guys, this is the unboxing. Oh. Wow, there we go. <laughs> so, this surface is kind of rough. It's not flat. It seems like there is like really small dots. And somehow they expand or contract as the bell plate heats up. And then, yeah, actually like, there's two surfaces. I can either use like the flat side or I can use like clean glass or I can use the textured side either side will work so I'm gonna go ahead and get some clamps I'm gonna clamp it down and also uh, I'm gonna have to adjust the z-axis uh, micro switch because right now it is set for the metal part but this part is kind of thick so I'm gonna have to um, move this up just enough so that my nozzle does not go into my gloss bed and scratch the surface so yeah. I'm go ahead and home this thing so I, I'm gonna go down uh, auto home and see I'm gonna keep my head on to the power switch if something goes wrong I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn it off Seems like the the micro switch is working the way it should be. Okay, guys, I've got a piece of paper here, which I'm going to be using to actually uh, level my bed. So I'm 
I'm gonna print and then I'm gonna do this test thing. And now the heating is done. And it's just printing now. And yeah. Wow, it is taking. Wow, very happy with it. Thumbs up, Creality. Look at my first layer. It's absolutely perfect. I'm very happy with it. Not coming off. Wow. This is what I wanted to buy, and I'm very happy with it. It's a small little upgrade that you can do to your printer and it will save you a lot of time. I might do a few more upgrades in future, so until then, bye.